what's up um so i don't know what i was going for like i literally had to redo this entire look because i was going for like some brown sunset i don't even know but it was just looking terrible when i started so i completely like started over on my eye and i came up with this like natural glam type thing i really don't know who i think i am am i do i want to be basic or do i want to be glam i don't know basic or glam sis pick one Choose your poison. Not slap this fake ass wig on. And yeah, now we're here. Comb it out. Let me show y'all how fake it is. Boom. <laughs> Cause my hair is not this short. Kind of is, but whatever. Ooh. Yes, give them body sis. I tried the little, it's my Ray Ray. Like she said she put like her eyelash glue on her lid first. And then like did, like put her lash on top. It is faster. It is, but the con is this all in your eyelashes. I had to take the end of my eyebrow pencil. Wow, hold on. <sighs> Whew. I took my end of my eyebrow pencil and I had to just like go in my lashes and just like comb them out. Like the glue was like stuck in there. Okay, I'm gonna start off with a little dance for you all. <laughs> Whoa. And I've already finished the base of my entire face and set my eyelids with the P. Louise base in the shade Rumor 04. And then I'm going to go in with my crayon case, the MAC book palette, matte book palette, excuse me, and use this neutral brown to act as my transition shade. Next, I'm going in with this brown bronze shade and working that directly in the crease to start the layering process. And then I'm just going to take a clean fluffy brush to soften the edges of the shadow and blend the two shades together. Y'all, please excuse this one eyebrow. Like, in the middle of me doing my face, my eyebrow pencil just gave up me. So now I had to get a new one and had to go back to my roots and use a dark liner. But back to the point. Now I'm taking that darkest brown shade in the palette. And it kind of almost looks black. But I'm just going to use a small flat shader brush and apply that color directly underneath the brown. While focusing under the outer corner of my eye. And then I'm just going to use a fluffy brush again to blend everything out. At this point, I'm just using a flat concealer brush to carve out my crease and I'm using my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Toffee. So going back in with that small shader brush, I'm just using that dark brown to blend out the outer crease into the cut crease, if that makes sense. And then I'm going to drag the shade down to my lash line to act as like a fake liner. Okay. 
Okay, but you know, period, sis. Hold on. Period. Okay, camera not focusing yet again. But period, baby. What? <laughs> okay, so now I'm applying. Wow. What am I applying? Now I'm taking my Kiss by JK Cosmetics highlighter in the shade wet and I'm applying that to my lid while my concealer is still tacky. Now I'm applying my actual highlight by Locale Cosmetics in the shade Toffee and I'm applying it to my cheeks, lips, nose, and inner corners of my eye, the usual, and just blending that out with a angled kabuki brush because I feel like the highlight was a little too strong for the look itself. Okay, so boom, my favorite part. Now I'm taking my NYX lip liner in the shade Espresso to line my lips. And then the shade Natural Beauty by Color Design to place in the center and clear lip gloss to top it off. When you're done with that, set your face and pop on some lashes, baby. You look like a beast. I promise you. Promise. Fact. Okay, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to follow me on my social media at Coco Fights, Instagram, and Twitter. Um, I will talk to you guys. Well, I will see you guys later. Bye.